Praise God. I got a river of light running out of me. Make the lame to walk and the blind to see. Open prison doors, set the captive free. I got a river of light flowing out of me. Bring up all well within my soul. Bring up all well. And make me whole, bring up all well, and you will see that light abundantly. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you for you are holy, 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 holy. Thank you for loving us. I look forward to spending eternity with you. I praise and worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Today we're going from Revelation 22, 1 through 5, the NASB. He showed me a river of the water of life. On either side of the river was the tree of life, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. There will no longer be any curse. The Lord God will illumine them, and they will reign forever and ever. Revelation 22, 1-5 Believers who seek to witness to Muslims can find the barrier almost impenetrable. But one young believer living in Molo on the southeast coast of Africa found strong interest from a Muslim who was curious about Christianity and bold enough to ask questions. Praise God. He had been taught that paradise was a place dominant by wine and earthly pleasures. But this made no sense to him. As he talked with his Christian friend, he found the truth in the Bible's picture of heaven. As a result, he surrendered his life to Christ. And our theme on today is a vision of heaven. These are the kind of opportunities that the Holy Spirit can give to believers. For our faith is not based on theories or ideas but a real life changing relationship with God himself. For we can know the truth and study the Bible. Believers are equipped not just with a picture of heaven, but actually can know God in a personal way. Amen. As this young Muslim discovered, the Bible presents real insight into God's nature. We see him not as a tyrant, but a loving father. And in Revelation, we see clearly his purpose for creation, how he desires to end sickness and the curse. We see God in all his glory, how he will illumine us with his presence, and we will reign with him forever. Amen. For believers, these words are central to our relationship with God and we have opportunity to share the gospel and these truths with people in our personal lives. We can talk about God's love and his desire that we know him and experience the fullness of his blessings. Amen. Father, we thank you for loving us. I look forward to spending eternity with you in paradise. I give you all honor, all glory, and all praise and worship. And I thank you for enlightening your people with your vision of heaven on today. Thank you for the message. In Jesus' precious name, amen, amen, and amen. Pastor Catherine, signing out. Have a blessed day.